Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So this is another question from Jam 2024 Chemistry question, a chemistry paper. So a reactant is given and four different reagents are given and we have to identify the product. We have to predict the final product. So let us first try to understand the, rea uh, the structure of the reactant that is given is this. Now this is what if you take any ketone or aldehyde, okay, any carbonyl compound in general, okay, let's say some group R R dash. Let's say I'm taking ketone and I react it with, okay, one two three one comma three diethyene. Okay, this is thiol. Okay, or we can say diethyol. Okay, diethyol, then what we get is a protected Okay, a protected ketone or aldehyde. So here what they have done is they have protected which group? Both are hydrogen. So what they have done is they have replaced both these with hydrogen. Okay, so it is basically a protected aldehyde. Okay, and these two hydrogens, if you see the pK, they are quite acidic. So what can happen is next, uh, the first reagent is secondary butyl lithium. Butyl means four carbon. Secondary means at the secondary carbon, at this, this carbon. Okay, carbon that is attached to two other carbons is called secondary carbon. So at the secondary carbon, we have lithium. Okay, so this is alkyl lithium. This is a very good base. So what will happen? Li Li plus and then this is R minus. Okay, so this can abstract this acidic proton. Okay, what we will get is sulfur, sulfur negative charge. Now, what is the next step is next step is they have given an alkyl halide. So what we can do, we can do a SN2 type of reaction. This can attack here. Okay, it is a primary alkyl halide, so less hindered, so it can easily undergo which reaction? SN2 reaction. So what we get is okay, CH2, 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 and then we have pH. Okay, here we still have one hydrogen. Okay, now the next step is the third step is we are doing hydrolysis. Okay, in presence of HgSO4, H2SO4. Okay, it is aqueous. Aqueous means we are adding what? We are adding water. Okay, so we are doing hydrolysis. How will a hydrolysis take place? Which is a polar bond. Carbon sulfur bond is this polar. So this bond will break. Now hydrogen and OH, we know this is delta minus. This is delta plus, less electronegative. Here this is delta minus and carbon is less electronegative. So here at the sulfur, which group will be attached? This is electron rich so it will h will be attached here okay so sh and here also sh and at the carbon there will be two oh groups that will be attached okay so basically what we get is i'll erase this okay so basically what we get is we have hydrogen and then at this carbon, we have two OH groups now. Then there is CH2, 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 pH. Okay, two OH groups at one carbon is not stable. So there will be loss of water molecule. H plus will go from here and OH minus will go from here. So basically what we have got is H. Here we will get aldehyde. Okay, so this step was what? This step was basically what we have done is we have added an alkyl group and we have converted formaldehyde okay initially it was a formaldehyde they protected the formaldehyde and then we added an alkyl group so we have converted into another uh, aldehyde so what basically what we have done is this step is called as what this step is called as deprotection okay this addition of water this is what deprotection we are removing the protect protecting group Okay, what was the protecting group? This SH. Okay, one, two, three, SH. This was the protecting group. 
right or we can call this as 1 2 3 propane if you want to write down the IOPC name this will be propane 1 3 diethyl okay so this was the this is the aldehyde and what is the last step last step is very simple now aldehyde we know aldehydes and ketones they react with alcohol okay instead of now instead of normally we use HCl okay any acid that can donate H plus ion so instead of HCl what they have done is they have used a Lewis acid BF3 ethrate okay what is the role of this it is same as that of the H plus ion that is it is going to bind with this okay it will bind with this electron deficient BF3 okay and what will happen is we know aldehyde and ketone react with alcohol to form acetyl okay so OME OME then we have CH2 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 PH this is the final product okay this is what this product we know it is called as acetal okay we have used aldehyde okay this is called acetal it two alkoxy group on the same carbon this functional group is what acetal so what is the correct answer ph and then there are how many carbons three carbons okay and then ch and then ome twice so which is the correct answer the final product is option b okay I hope you have understood the solution first what we did this is, was the base so we abstracted the acidic proton okay, any one of this acidic proton then we did SN2 reaction okay substitution reaction then what we did we did deep protection of the protecting group okay we removed the protecting group and last step was formation of acetal by reacting it with alcohol I hope you have understood the solution thank you